lovely people out there. Good night. Uh, a good evening to you all. Um, I'm gonna. I just sitting down there. We watching some TV and uh, the wife and kids want to. They said they want to eat some custard, egg custard. So I'm gonna make some egg custard now, right? In this bowl here, I have six eggs already broken and uh, ah. oh my, this fell out here. All right, got it here. And uh, whisk, I have three tins of carnation milk, one tin of Eagle brand condensed milk. I have some not ground nutmeg cloves ground clove ground cardamom and uh, ground cinnamon and some vanilla extract i have the condensed milk so i'm not going to put any sugar inside this uh, custard because the condensed milk is sweet enough that's optional if you guys want to do it and you want to add sugar with the condensed milk no problem but this is sweet enough for us so I would not add any um, sugar in here so here we go I'm gonna get this condensed milk in here in the bowl here this is the same bowl I put to bake it This milk is very thick. degrees Start. so I'm preheating the oven here 380 degrees for two hours we're gonna keep checking on this place add a little hot water in the condensed milk so it can make it more malleable to work with not much some 
ground clove. I'm gonna add some ground cardamom. If you guys don't have, uh, like you just have the, uh, the nutmeg and the ground spice, that's good enough. You know, yeah. I'm just adding these rest, uh, yeah. seasoning a little because I have them, right? Yeah. But just nutmeg and spice, ground spice, it's good enough also. So ground spice in. Cinnamon. Or cinnamon. Custard powder here. The same thing that the custard powder does, the same thing the eggs will do. Right? Bring the ingredients together. Right? So, so I'm do. vanilla extract right it's a pure vanilla so I'm not gonna add much of this because okay there we go our grease skin again wow that looks so good already yeah. almost it. can't wait to try the custard get it all mixed up all infused I'm gonna give it a little taste, yet the sugar is balanced T for me. Yes, this is good. Very good. Good taste in. And drink it just like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All good. Okay. That's done there. Oven is at 237, 38 degrees now. I'm gonna get a foil pan. Um, probably this one here. It's gonna fit in here. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna get a fall pan here. And I'm gonna add some water inside. I'm not gonna put the pirate's bowl just like that in the oven to be. So this this water inside also helps it for not to you know burn or catch at the bottom. So I'm gonna add some water in, put it in the oven, then rest the um, pirate bowl inside for it to be. it out so it wouldn't run over <laughs> when I yeah. put it in the bowl yeah okay that's good enough 
So, give it a baking last time. Here. Baking Good. time now. We are at 315 degrees Celsius. Guys, when you do custard, you can put cherries, you can put whatever people put different stuff. But I like it just natural, you know, the custard. You know, when it's done, you put a bit of ice cream on top, or you know, it's a nice dessert. Just pack these back here. I like to put things back when I'm done. So at the end, I have nothing to do, right? That's the way to do things. Okay, we're at 350, so I'm gonna put this inside here now. I'm gonna put this inside here now. In a, right. uh, I'm gonna place this there and I'm gonna see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm gonna put this in here now. I'm gonna raise the top shelf up a little bit. So we can get space there to place the bowl. Yeah, that should be good. I'm gonna put that ensure the pan is neat, the, the aluminum foil isn't leaking. And how long place. will the custard take to bake for that? This there. I set it at a Almost two hours, so okay. 50, but it, it can done away really before that. We gotta okay. keep looking yeah, at keep. it, right? It all depends. Oh. Okay. So I leave that there and that's it. Custard baking away. We're at 353. We're gonna go to 380 degrees. And um, I'm just gonna sit down now. I'm gonna. I'm gonna um, have a toast. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take some. Uh, let me see what I have here. Okay, I'll take a scotch. Wrong rock, wrong royal. Crown royal, on the rock. And um, I'll sip and watch some TV and wait until the custard is done. Okay. When it's done, we have to take it out, leave it to cold. When it's cold, we gotta put it at least half an hour in the refrigerator before we use it. This long hard work, guys, is called off for a toast. Yeah, man, that is uh, stoned out. Uh, yeah. Stoned out today, do some stuff. Yeah. Came in. So it's time I'm to wind down with a now. glass of scotch. I don't know if. Uh, yeah. You want something, Cap? Are you gonna take a beer or scotch? Not yet. Not yet? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so. Take some ginger ale. A little bit of water. And cheers. Cheers. I'll be waiting next hour, hour 15 minutes probably. Alright. It might finish and uh, Make we'll sure go from there. See you guys then. Cheers, you Cheers. nice people out there. All right. Have a great evening. One hour, fifty minutes, three hundred and eighty degrees. The custard is done. Wow. There. Right. 
we're gonna leave it now on the cupboard to get the uh, cool off and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge in half an hour and then we're gonna taste see you then until then right okay Kev it's all done here now it's cold nice and cold but it would be better if it's going to the fridge there you gotta be go there half an hour to 45 minutes it's chill it's more nice more beautiful to eat add so a little ice cream on top and a, a little cherry there and it's good to go but i'll taste it before i put it in the fridge so here we go wow so nice and crispy on the top here we go Mm. Nice and crispy on top, soft on the inside, real custard. So beautiful, the, the condensed milk alone with the sugar is just balanced with the rest of the milk. This is so nice. So here we go, I'll put it in the fridge. that's gonna cool off there anyhow guys that's all for today you lovely people out there have a great evening a great night don't drink and drive and be safe see you then next time